Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I wasn't gonna start this till later. I have a really, really busy morning. Um, I have about four hours of meetings with my team. Um, but I just wanted to quickly share something with you. If you've watched my other video, um, my most recent video, where I saw the Adams family and um, got my hair done and also sang in front of people for the first time, that's not in the vlog. Me singing is not in the vlog, it's more so like leading up to me singing and then like my thoughts after. But something happened last night that was really unexpected that I wanted to share. So we have a Facebook group um, for this musical theatre beginners course that I'm doing. There are 14 of us in this group and then two tutors. And we have this Facebook group so that we can communicate. And my goal yesterday was just to perform to sing. Um, that was my first time ever singing in front of more than one person and I've only ever sang in front of my sister and my singing teacher that I've seen twice. <laughs> um, so this was like a really really big deal for me and I just wanted to push myself and do it and although it was absolutely terrifying and I had almost an outer body experience, it was incredible. And it's something that I would like to do again and just build that confidence and get more comfortable with. But the whole point of me sharing this is I was not expecting anything out of this. And I completely forgot that the point of this, of, of each of us, of each of the 14 people doing a solo was for the tutors to hear us sing individually so that they could select soloists for our final performance, which is in four weeks. Now, last night I got a notification saying that I've been tagged in a post in the Facebook group and I got given a solo and I felt all sorts of things upon reading that um, post. Um, I was terrified, excited, shocked, honoured um, to have been selected and it's just, it was just really lovely and encouraging to know that despite it being my first time singing, like they saw something in my voice and in my performance that made them confident in selecting me as a soloist. It was such a lovely way to kind of end what had been an amazing weekend. But anyways, I'm gonna crack on with my day. I will check in with you later. Um, like I said, I have a really, really busy morning today. Um, I will be taking you with me tomorrow to Matilda which I'm seeing for the first time and I'm really really excited about that because I've wanted to see Matilda for so long and I'm finally going to see it so that's really exciting um but yeah I will check in with you later so my very long morning with meetings is over I was on calls for about five and a half hours but it was really productive very happy with the morning um really good way to start off a Monday and now I am running some errands and I haven't moved all day so I'm trying to get a walk in and run some errands. Um, I always find it so weird talking to the camera in this area because people are like, what is she doing? I was in Waterstones the other day and I annoyingly didn't pick up a signed copy of Lucy Foley's new book, The Paris Apartment, and then I checked online yesterday or the day before and they were all sold out and I was so upset. I just popped into Waterstones. Thank you. And so super happy that I managed to get a signed copy of the Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. The guy at Waterstones said that they literally received two extra copies this morning and that there was one left and I picked it up. So very, very lucky. I'm so happy. Um, it's hardback <laughs> and we know how we feel about hardbacks, but I've been the last four books that I've bought. Yeah, I think the last four that I've bought have all been hardback, so my next flat is going to need to have a lot of shelf space for all my books, but it's such a nice day in London. I'm um, really glad that I was able to get out for a nice walk. I am heading back home now. Um, I'm just gonna check on some things. Uh, we've got two new team members starting today. So just want to make sure that everything is going according to plan and then I need to pop out and buy some food because we have no food in the flat, like 
nothing. I bought cereal this morning. And Gal and I have been living off of meal deals from Tesco for the last week, just because we've been busy. And to be fair, I hate cooking. So if my sister doesn't cook, yeah, I know I need to sort that out, but yeah. I also realized I need to stop filming like this and start doing that. I think I do this because this is less obvious and when there are loads of people around, you look a bit odd and people tend to stare, but do you know what? I'm gonna stare, I'm gonna stare. Okay, I'm back home. This is... I'm back home and... I'm just gonna show you Essentially nothing, just the signature, but this is it. And it is Waterstones sign, ah, the Waterstones signed edition with exclusive content. And I don't know what that that is. What exclusive content is included, but there it is. Yay. So I got that. I'm super happy. I felt like that was, it was like meant to be very, very lucky it was the last one left and they are completely sold out i checked every single waterstones that i could justify getting to and there are zero they are all sold out so um i'm going to finish up some work and then head to the supermarket with my sister because like i said we have zero food and we need to sort that out asap just because our eating is like all over the place <sighs> me again <laughs> Um, it has been a rather busy day, um, but I have done everything that I wanted to get done and more, so I'm feeling very happy, very pleased. Um, I still have Slack open, which is how I communicate with my team. Um, everyone is online, so in different time zones, so there are people that are have woken up like a few hours ago and who are starting, but um, we have two new team members, I think I said that earlier. Um, so just making sure that like everything um, is like set up and like going according to plan. So that's why I have, I don't know if you can see, I've got two screens, but there's a screen there with Slack um, and that's why that's there. But basically, um, I thought I would share with you something that I am going to try do. This camera is not straight. I apologize. There we go. Um, I have been journaling quite religiously for the past two months. Um, mm, yeah, I would say past two months I've been journaling religiously and I just have this little notebook that I bought from, I think this is Moleskin. They come in like, they come in a pack of three. Um, so I have this little notebook that I just write stuff in. Um, and for the most part, well, not for the most part, my journaling over the last two months has been very kind of stream of consciousness. So I just kind of write what I'm feeling and what's in my head. And typically if I feel quite anxious or overwhelmed, I will grab this and just write what I'm feeling. Um, I haven't looked back on anything. I just write what's in my head. And then I just feel a little bit lighter, a little bit better. I haven't looked back on anything that I've written, I don't know if I will. Um, but basically, I wanted to continue doing what I'm doing with journaling, but also challenge myself to um, have prompts and write about said prompt. So I've seen things about gratitude, um, if you wrote, if you could write a letter to yourself six months ago, what would you write? Like just things like that, that kind of get you thinking more and delving a little bit deeper than just, I'm just gonna write what's in my head. But I know that I won't stick to it if it's like not easy, if that makes sense. I don't, I feel like I'm doing a really poor job of explaining this. But what I mean by that is if I have to like find time during my day and then go and search the internet for prompts and then pick one <laughs> and then have to write, like I just know I won't do that. So I thought it would be good to 
look up like set aside, set aside time now so i've got half an hour 45 minutes that i've set aside in my calendar um to look up journal prompts that i think i would like to write about or write on um and that i think could help me and then what i'm going to do is just i have this like paper here so i'm going to take um strips of paper write the journal prompts fold them up and then i'm going to put them in this little jar and i'm just going to have this on my desk so that when I've scheduled journaling into my calendar, all I'll do is I'll come here, pick a prompt, and then that will be what I write about for that day. So I initially wanted to get coloured paper, like nice, pretty, like pastel paper to do that, but I didn't have time. <laughs> um, and I want to start this this week, so I'm just going to use normal paper to do that. But essentially, that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, I'll let you know how it goes um and i may or may not share the prompts that i've used so like for instance this video is going to be over two or three days and i may i may share two or three prompts worth like you know if i start today then maybe that's two or three um but i might share them as well in the description when i upload this video um just because it might be helpful for someone um who's kind of interested in starting journaling but doesn't really know where to start. I know that when I started, it was quite daunting because I had no idea how to journal. And there are so many different ways to journal and there isn't a right or a wrong way. You just kind of have to play with it and find what works for you. So yeah, that's my little rant. I am going to put my head down and just get started with this. <laughs> prompts and I've cut them up into little strips and now I'm going to fold them up and put them in here and I'm done I did it and that took 20 minutes ish but yay cool so I'm gonna put this on my desk and I think I'm going to start this tomorrow morning hopefully well yeah probably tomorrow morning um so I'll start journaling with prompts tomorrow morning and i'll share with you guys the prompt that i choose from my little jar good morning um first of all i apologize for my hair i was out on a walk and it was very windy so it looks very very messy um this is also me trying to get my hair curly and feeling miserably um but anyways i thought i would um do my first journal prompt <laughs> and show you guys what the first one is. Okay. So it says, what does self-love mean to me? So I'm gonna put on a timer for 10 minutes and I'm just gonna write. I've said before that I do not cook. I don't really enjoy cooking. Um, love food, love eating food, don't really enjoy cooking. Particularly when I'm busy, I'm just like, I could be doing something else. Um, but I know that I need to eat and I do have to get better at making food making meals and not relying on my sister my poor sister to feed me every time um my sister isn't here she is she had a hospital appointment today and spending some time with my mum so i'm all alone yay um in our flat and jay's at work i have made pasta because that's easy right um i'm just gonna show you so i have made we got this lovely, gorgeous, like curly pasta from um, the supermarket yesterday. And then I just made like, when I say I made a sauce, I didn't, I it's store bought, but then I chopped some cherry tomatoes and some prawns in that. Okay, they're announcing the Olivier Award nominees. I'm so excited. I'm just watching it um, while I get ready. <sighs> so excited. So Life of Pi, was nominated for various different Olivier's and that is a show that I've been meaning to see so it's just made me want to see it even more now that it's been nominated for like a whole host of different awards and let me just make sure that I get her name right but the actress who plays the stepmother in um, Cinderella so in Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella she was nominated for best supporting 
actress in a musical, Victoria Hamilton Barrett. Um, I think I said that right, but she was nominated and I'm so excited that she is nominated because she is phenomenal. And I remember saying to my sister last week that I think she should be nominated for an Olivier because her performance as a stepmother is spectacular. Um, I'm going to head out to Matilda shortly. I'm going to get some food in me and then head out. Super excited. <laughs> taken me a really weird way. I've never been to this theatre. There's a stage door here. Phoenix Theatre. Uh, I hate not knowing where I'm going. Okay. Okay. I'm like going down an alley but I'm at a main road now so... so 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 good and the kids oh my goodness are so talented like I don't know how they remember all their lines all the songs the blocking the choreography like it's just so impressive and they only do two shows a week uh, versus adults do I think up to eight like six to eight shows in the West End so that's insane like two shows a week and they have to remember everything um, but yeah it was really really good and also I got lost on the way, but I walked past Come From Away, which I'm seeing next week. So now I know where to go and I won't get lost next week when I go see that show. So as always, I took my camera out to record the bows and I got told off, which has never happened before. And there wasn't like, when the show started, there wasn't on the tannoy or anything like, please don't record. And they usually have signs I didn't see any signs, but I got told off the recording, so I stopped. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to include the recording from this video just because it might be because of the amount of kids in the show that they don't want anything recorded and shared online. So I'm just going to respect that and not post the very small clip that I did manage to record. It has been a wonderful start to the week and I hope wherever you are, you've had an amazing day, an amazing start to the week. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.